What up guys, we're going to show you how to fix scapular winging. If you have this problem or if you don't, you might be surprised. A lot of people actually do have this and they don't even know about it. So we're going to show you three exercises to get you above it and get you better than a winging scapula. Okay guys, so a lot of you are probably wondering what wing scapula exactly is. It is a condition of another symptom rather than an injury itself. Essentially what happens is you'll notice it kind of looks like angel wings on someone's back. I'll put a screen right here. And instead of the scapula actually laying flat on the back, it's kind of protruding outwards. For those of you who don't know, the actual serratus anterior is what holds the rib cage and the scapula together. And if this is weak, then it's not gonna be able to properly perform its job. So with that being said, a lot of people think just strengthening their actual muscles and just weight training is gonna help fix this. But these exercises we actually show you is what's gonna help kind of avoid that tightness and really help you push past this scapular winging that a lot of people see. So what is this caused by? It's mainly caused by having weak serratus anterior muscle as well as it's a common dysfunction of the shoulder as it's associated with poor posture and it's related to shoulder pain. So these three exercises that we're gonna go over today, I'd highly recommend adding them into your routine just three times per week and I guarantee you guys will start to see some results and help combat this issue. Exercise number one, we have scapular protraction with the band for setup. You're gonna to wanna to set it up just below shoulder level. This exercise is gonna work the serratus anterior muscle as well as other stabilizing muscles in the shoulder. So your goal here is to push your arm forward and slightly upwards as far as possible. And you should also aim to extend all the way through the shoulder blades within every rep. Generally, I'll do this for about 12 to 15 reps for three sets. Exercise number two, we've got the serratus wall slide. You wanna start with your elbows at about 90 degree angle or even a bit higher. The goal here is to get good shoulder blade control. You're not gonna be getting a huge range of motion. You're gonna be focusing on keeping your shoulder blades pushed apart and your upper back pushed backwards. And also try to make sure to keep your elbows tight to the wall. You'll notice I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because that allows me to actually move my arms up the wall and get a nice slide and not stick. And last but not least, we're doing a scapula push-up. So you wanna focus on starting in a push-up position with your hands underneath your shoulders and your core nice and tight. So the goal here is to focus on retracting and protracting the shoulder blades, allowing the chest to move up and down one to two inches. You wanna stay neutral and move just at the shoulder blades. A very common mistake made by most people is allowing the elbows to bend. So you wanna keep them as straight as possible to actually get the most out of this exercise. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't seen our video on anterior pelvic tilt, it'll be the first link in the description below. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.